I had a distant relationship with my father. I, he and I didn't have a lot in common, and I was somewhat of a sissy, and he didn't really know how to deal with me, and so he seemed to just distance himself from me, sort of molded me into the paraphiliac behavior. The paraphiliac behavior. The paraphiliac behavior. The paraphiliac behavior. And the question is, why, why, why are we worried? What's the, what are we afraid of if we talk about sexuality in just ethical and political terms? Or aesthetic, or aesthetic, or aesthetic terms. terms or aesthetic. Not, doesn't matter whether it's pathological or not, it's completely irrelevant. What's interesting is what causes this, what since not everybody has this. What makes for this to happen? He um, was a kleptomaniac growing up. I liked to play with dolls, and I couldn't have a doll because I was a boy. My parents wouldn't let me have one, and so I still had this overwhelming urge to play with dolls. So I began shoplifting them, and then when I, my playtime with dolls, primarily Barbie dolls, was I wanted to style their hair. I wanted to cut and style their hair. My mother used haircuts as a way of humiliating me. He knew that I didn't want to get a haircut, and so he would use that as a threat of punishment for me. Why does this happen? Well, why why do you have to ask that question? Right. Because I want to know. Exactly. If, if a guy if a guy likes some, no, well, who cares? Exactly. If a guy likes somebody to sit on his face and he doesn't smother, what's wrong with it? Yeah.